Welcome to the LivePerson plugin-based applications training. Applications allow you to add content to customers' web pages, to the visitor's browser, or to the agent console. You can also create new chat windows, new agent console solutions, and monitor visitors' activity outside the website. You can build applications using APIs, plugins, or a combination of both. Each application is identified by a unique application key. LivePerson provides you with the tools and guidance to develop and offer applications to your customers. In this training, we will demonstrate how to develop an application using a plugin. Plugins allow you to run different actions based on decisions made by LivePerson's intelligent platform. After reviewing this module, you will be able to create a development account, create a development key, create a rule, create a plugin XML, upload the plugin XML, create a test account, create a test page, and test your application. Before developing a plugin, you need to log into the LivePerson developer community and create a development account. From the Resources tab, you can create development and test accounts. Let's create a developer account. The account is created with a default password. Change this password the first time you log in. Each LivePerson application requires a unique application key. You can request the application key from the LivePerson developer community. From the Resources menu, select API Keys and Accounts, Create New Application Key. Enter a name for your application and select the APIs that your application will use. In this example, select Application Plugins. The next step is to select the purpose of the application key. You can use an application key for development purposes or for installation in a live account. At this stage, you need a development key. Type an informative description of your application. In the Application Usage section, provide specific information explaining how you are planning to use the application. This explanation helps LivePerson understand the purpose of the application. Select what best describes your role. In this demo, you are a partner, selling your applications to LivePerson customers. If you are a partner selling your application plugin to LivePerson customers, you do not need to enter any account details at this stage. Read and accept the LivePerson development agreement and save the key. A summary of your application key details is displayed. You can edit these details at any time. Let's develop a plugin for your application based on LivePerson rules. To develop the plugin, you need to log into the development account and create a rule with a condition and an action. Copy the development account number from the View My Accounts page and click the account number to open the login page. Paste the account number and log in using the default username and password. You must change your password the first time you log in. Let's change the password and log in to the development account. From the Admin Console's main menu, select Visitor Rules and create a new initiative. Initiatives contain a rule or rules that you can package together. It is important to enter a proper name and description that indicate the purpose of the initiative. Click Submit All Changes. Click the Rule Plugin Initiative to create a rule. The Initiative Details page is displayed. To create the rule, you should first choose a rule type. 
The rule type determines the context in which the rule is created. For example, when a visitor is browsing site or when a visitor enters a page. In this example, select when visitor enters page. This means that the rule will be evaluated every time a visitor enters a page. To learn more about LivePerson rules, refer to LivePerson Manual for Developers in the Documentation section of the Developer Community. Let's create a rule that each time a visitor enters a page that contains the word iPad in its URL or title, an alert is sent to the visitor. Click New Rule. Type a name and description for your rule. Click Add Condition and select Browsing, Current Page. Modify the condition to refer to pages that contain the regular expression iPad in the page URL or title. Apply your condition settings. Click Add Action. From the Choose Type drop-down menu, select Third Party Notifications. From the Action menu, select Send a Script to Browser. To learn about other actions you can use, refer to the Application Plugin Product pages in the Developer Community. Type your JavaScript alert in the Script area. For demonstration purposes, we will type the alert, Hello World. Set the char set to UTF-8 and apply your changes. Update and submit all changes. To turn your rule into a plugin, you need to create a plugin XML. The XML skeleton can be found in the product section of the developer community. Let's navigate to the Application Plugins section and open the Developing Plugins article. Copy the XML skeleton from the article and paste it in a text file. To configure the plugin XML to work with your development key, copy the development key from the View My Application Keys section and paste it in the designated location of the XML file. Type a name for the plugin and save the XML file. To update the rules section of the plugin XML, you need to copy the initiative XML from the development account. Navigate to Account Setup Applications Initiative XML and select the initiative that you have just created. Make sure to copy all lines from the opening rule tag to the closing rule tag. Paste the rule section in the designated location of the XML skeleton. Copy the rule type of the rule you have created and override the rule type of the XML skeleton. A list of rule types that are supported for plugins can be found in the Application Plugins product page in the developer community. Note that custom-based rule types and rule types that relate to knowledge-based ticketing and emails are not supported for plugins. You can now save the plugin XML file again. Now that the plugin XML is ready, you need to upload it to the plugin repository. 
All plugins are stored in a repository from which they can be installed in a LivePerson account. To upload the plugin XML, navigate to the Upload Plugin tab in the Application section of the Development account. Choose your plugin XML and click Upload. After the plugin was successfully uploaded, your application is ready to be tested. Create a test account that simulates your customer's account and create a web page to test your application. From the Resources menu, create a test account. You may create a small business or mid-size account to verify the application's behavior on the different account types. Log into the admin console of the test account and change your password. From the Account Setup menu, select Page Code Builder and copy the monitor code into the body section of your web page. In this example, you are using a simple HTML file with an iPad title that matches your rule. After pasting the code, save the HTML file. You are now ready to install the application on the test account. First, navigate to the Application Keys page section in the Development Community resource page and click the Plugin Installation link. Copy the test account number from your accounts page and paste it in the account number field. Log in to the test account. After you log in, a pop up box is displayed asking for your approval to install the application. Open the HTML page you have configured with LivePerson's monitor code. No alert is displayed since the application is not yet installed. Approve the application plugin installation. The application is now installed on the test account. You can view the installed rule under Rules, Visitor Rules, Plugin Rules. Refresh the HTML page. Hello world, you have just developed your first application plugin. Note that there is a typo in the alert. You will later correct this typo when upgrading your plugin-based application.